Hey there, my name is Aditya and today I'm going to show you how to make your sublime much better than ever. So for getting started you need to first of all download sublime text 3 which is a freeware software uh, it's WinRAR free that is it just shows you the link that your software is unlicensed but does not do anything special than that if you want to buy this you can buy this for nearly fifty dollars I don't know exact price but um, I already bought it and you can download it for various platforms it's cross-platform application you can install it on Ubuntu you can install it on Windows or OS X so whatever PC you are using this course is for you so the first thing that you need to do right after installing sublime text is install package control now you can find package control at, at packagecontrol.io it's a it's like a package manager for sublime text so now I'm going to open sublime text so you, you can see it's much simple and it has not got anything in it I have just opened one simple project in my sublime text um, it's Leon air project um, that I'll be I'm making series on so the first thing that you need to do well let me switch this off to another desktop first okay so it becomes much easy for me you can do it on Windows 10 or if you are on Mac or Linux uh, there there is workspace um, so here I'm just going to copy this code hit control C go ahead hit control plus tilde in your sublime text it will pop up this little box over here now just paste this code in and hit enter okay so you may see here it's uh, it's saying a lots of a bunch of logs are being put over there um, it's installing a few things uh, um, it, it may be reloading it or it may be showing you okay so some of the one missing dependency was just installed sublime text should be started okay so it's just asking me to restart the sublime text so the very easy thing exit open it up again so now I have got package control installed but how would I know that package control is installed in my PC it's much simple just hit control shift P or if you are on Mac hit con command shift P and then just put in there package control so once you hit package control over there you might see there are lots of things so the main thing that we want and that we always will be using is install package so just hit on that now it will be loading repositories if you do not rely on it just check out over here it will say a loading repository so now it has loaded repositories so the first thing that we need to install in this dependency manager is themer as for me it's a theme selector for sublime text now let us install a theme now let us say we want a theme that is named as material theme so this is material theme I really love this theme um, let's install this theme and yeah there uh, there are a few bugs so we need to install um, the white panels too so that it can fix the bugs and if you want you can install that last one too so now it will show a package control message regarding material theme how you can enable it what settings you should feel to keep as default ones well I'm not gonna take a look at that but instead I'm just going to go to this link if you cannot see the text I'm going to go with it I'm just going to go to this link so um, let me open up uh, okay. so once you are on this link you might see uh, you might see there are lots of options 
um, if you go down and down um, well the first thing that we need to do is hit control shift P here again I'm sorry themer list themes and now you might see there there is default theme which you can see right now their material theme is here material theme darker or lighter I recommend you using material theme okay so it has switched the theme but why my color is not changing it's because it's because it had just changed the theme it's, it did not change the theme um, color uh, sorry uh, it's known as color scheme it did not change it so we can go it by clicking on preferences color scheme material theme schemes and we just want material theme no darker or no light now it feels perfect now even if I open sidebar well uh, shortcut key for opening sidebar is control K and control B press it at once you might uh, see there um, there is a new folder animation there are icons added to those uh, little um, uh, files and yeah you can use uh, yeah yeah here you can see that it has got nice syntax highlighting and many many more things that they so I'm going to remove it and now so uh, yeah it has shown you the known issues and we, di we did install white panels right here so next here they give recommended UI and font settings now just copy them all go ahead and click on preferences settings user now here you might feel to edit any of these options but don't edit it until and unless you think that you are a pro user in the sublime text so now I'm just going to hit comma it's a JSON file uh, and just prefix with dot sublime hyphen settings so now I'm going to hit comma and hit control V and just indent them all so here are a few options that I added now which ones you should really check out for if you really want to overlay the screen uh, overlay the scroll bars you don't want to show them all the time over there you can uh, enable it or it will overlay that scroll bar line padding top is another option which uh, I'll just hit control s now you see there's a difference in there so line padding is adding a little padding on the top and a little padding on the bottom I recommend it to be set on full so that the text is much visible and much cleaner for us then they have set a font option that is gray and TLI I recommend this because uh, even though if you are not on retina Mac I recommend it because it's much great than any other thing um, so the next thing always show minimap viewport um, that is um, this one always show it, it has been set if you want you can remove it but it will be still be shown because sublime text uh, sets head to default if you do not want that just click on view and hide minimap it will hide that minimap for you then bold folder labels if we go ahead and hit control B um, we want this four uh, sorry these folders labels to be bold um, so it, it uses that um, maybe you can change it or let us set it to false and see yeah it changes so I recommend it to true so now once you have you are done with that just copy these theme options and then once again in the sublime text after comma just put those all okay so let me decrease uh, on side okay so they have they are saying me change on this they want to reload it okay reload come on so they just made my settings a little cleaner so now I'll hit comma again and hit enter and paste this all okay so here are a few options do you want to set the small tabs 
yeah I definitely love to check those small tabs out do you want to disable file icons this is gonna disable these file icons which are a little over here I do not recommend it so we'll remove that do you want to disable the folder animation the folder animation that we really talked about it's much nicer animation um, you know if you click on it it just um, you know repels the ripple effect is there um, if you do not want it you can disable it but I want it it looks cleaner do you want a small status bar this status bar is very huge you can change that by simply cutting this line do you want to disable the tree indicator I didn't know what that does I'll be disabling no. so you, you can see it now okay so just now I saved it and they just made a uh, okay wait please Ah, um, I'm sorry I removed that small status bar um, now it's gonna show me small status bar so material theme disabled tree indicator so this tree indicator might be uh, linking to this tree indicator I don't know exactly but I wanna remove this do you want the tabs uh, icons to be bold let us see what happens if I set it to false okay so there's a change um, I will be setting it to true uh, material theme tab separator uh, I don't know what does that mean a scent line color maybe no I do not like that purple seriously purple no I want uh, I may say I want default blue color so now they have given me another two options so if you want you can remove it because JSON does not have valid does not consider comments as a valid JSON but sublime text does so do you want a panel separator no I did not want a panel separator do you want the tabs to be out of it no I do not want that okay so let us hit control s and now you have got your sublime which is pretty enough you can check it out by simply hitting control B you can see full sublime if you were enabling those uh, panel separator over here it would have looked like ah. okay sorry uh, so the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and click on settings user again what you might be saying not again but now we are going to do some little jinky things okay so actually there's a little um, I may say an article by Weboss sublime text 5 visual tricks quick first thing that you need to do is change the carrot style if you check out the current carrot style it just blinks in goes up links in goes up um, and actually that's not a good style so I I recommend using carrot style as phase so now you might be seeing how much clean animation it is showing to me so the next thing that they show is highlight line uh, I recommend using highlight line because it helps you to know on which line you are so make sure you put the commas so now it's highlighting that current line and increase the line height that we just did in that one um, fade fold buttons yeah I'm gonna fade those fold buttons because showing them for all the time it's not recommended um, bold folder labels yeah we just did that no need to do that again so let me close it close this one too and now let us come to the hack well hack is a typeface which is designed for the source codes now let's say I have got here PHP code um, let me open up any one file like I'll be opening it from vendor directory okay, vendor directory is not there so let me go ahead and open up any one file 
so you may see this this font is somewhat different font than what I really want to use so if I want to change this font you gonna do is preferences settings user and now just go down it come over here font underscore face and you're gonna set font underscore face to something like heck so you can see it has changed it a little bit and yeah these fonts look much great than any other font if you are using Mac if, and you are having Monaco font I really love that font it's a great font for the Mac if you are using Ubuntu it might be switched to the Ubuntu Mono or console arts font um, I do not recommend that um, but yeah I recommend hack if you even if you are using Mac or even if you are using Windows or even if you are using a simple win uh, sorry Ubuntu so you can download it right from here make sure to install the font first before um, getting a head and including it over here at the font face so this was uh, all about the sublime text how to make your sublime text pretty how to make your sublime text more cleaner and how to make your sublime text look like it's made for you so this was all the tutorial on that hope so you enjoyed this tutorial meet you in the next episode of the series how to make your own blog thank you and have a nice day